two Georgia women say they were fired from their jobs at Lululemon after calling police to report this robbery, which one of them caught on camera. No, you can Jennifer Ferguson and Rachel Rogers describing to NBC affiliate 11 Alive Atlanta the horrifying moments the merchandise at the Peachtree Corner store was stolen. The women say they were fired from their jobs after they decided to call the police about the shoplifting, something they say they were told is against company policy. Those of brazen shoplifting have gone viral from stores across the country, and it's common practice for retailers to tell their employees not to intervene. 80% of retailers are experiencing violent incidents. And while a punishment after calling the police for shoplifting might be head scratching to some, retail trade organizations say it might be more common than you think because some stores have relationships with law enforcement and don't want to waste resources on petty crime. Shocking new details of the scene inside New York's largest hotel that's housing illegal migrants. Our next guest is shedding light on his time at the Row NYC Hotel, reporting a 10-year-old being drunk in her hotel room without her parents on site. He's also sharing images of trashed rooms, violence in the street, and a slew of staff incident reports. When we first rescued him was definition of meeting a dog on the worst day of his life. The vet suspected someone probably hit him with a shovel. We were among the first people to show him that kind of positive human interaction. And I drew a really strong con connection to him. We kept coming back and just sitting with him. Eventually, he was able to slowly walk again. And that's also when he found a foster with Danielle. He was nervous of the world, malnourished, and still gaining strength in his legs. But he would find ways to make me laugh through his recovery. <laughs> Walks have now become our favorite part of the day. Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, a group of self-described queer and trans nuns, were set to be honored with the team's Community Hero Award. Instead, they were removed from the June 16th event after the ball club received backlash. Today, the L.A. County delegation, which includes 39 members of the California State Senate and State Assembly, said in a statement... While the L.A. Dodgers were preparing to host an event centered around inclusivity, they instead chose to exclude a well-known LGBTQ plus organization with a rich history of philanthropic and community engagement. These are values that should be celebrated, not suppressed. Things came to a head when Florida Senator Marco Rubio wrote a letter to MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred detailing why many find the group's use of Roman Catholic sacraments and holy orders a disrespectful mockery. We do dress as nuns and uh, people are offended by that. We don't do that in a way to mock traditional sisters or nuns in any way. Uh, we do it to spark attention and we certainly have gotten people's attention. 